Deb from the Arthur Murray Carmel Ballroom Dance Studio. So go ahead and join me. You're probably already sitting, right? So go ahead and lift those heels with me. So what I want to talk about today is our foot and ankle strength. I know, crazy. And increasing that strength and getting good mobility throughout. So keep going on with those heels. I see you. I'm watching, okay? Why don't we switch it up? So a little prancy pony feet. So right now what we're doing is we are warming up our calves and ankles and feet and getting them ready to move. You can obviously do this while you're watching TV, on a Zoom call, whatever you got going on in your life right now, you can do this anywhere, anytime. So we're really working on the soleus, which is one of our calf muscles, which is the lower part of our ankles. Okay, great job. Let's go ahead and move. You've also probably got an ottoman or a coffee table right in front of you. So go ahead and stick those feet up or just extend them out on the couch. So let's go ahead and go to a full point. Awesome. And now pull those toes all the way back. So point and flex. And point and flex. And point and flex. Point and flex. And point and flex. Point and flex. flex. Alright, so now what I want you to do, go ahead and fully point those toes. Now I want you to only bring the toes up to face the ceiling. This is what we call a Barbie foot. Because if you've ever seen a Barbie doll, this is what her foot looks like. It's kind of like she's in high heels, even when she's not wearing any, okay? So we're in our Barbie foot position. Let's go ahead and hold that for just a little bit longer. You should feel some different muscles working, maybe, than you're used to. All right, so go ahead and relax that. Do that one more time. Go to a nice, full pointed position with our toes, and then just bring our toes up only. And then from here, we're gonna come up to our full flex position. So come up to a nice full flex. Now, can you go back and find that Barbie foot again? And back to your point. And Barbie, and flex. Barbie, and point. Barbie, flex. Barbie, point. Barbie, flex. Barbie, point. Barbie, flex. So right now, we're working a lot of the muscles in our feet. Again, we can do this while we're watching TV, on the phone, regardless of what it is that we're doing, we can do this most times. All right, time to get up. I know, I know, I know. It's so hard these days, but it's only a few minutes. You can do it. I believe in you. Let's work it. Let's go. Okay, so now we're going to do an exercise. We're just going to come to our bent position here through our knees. We're going to go straight up to our releve and extend. So go back to your bent position. So we're working in a nice parallel. So this is a really great exercise, both to build strength and stamina in our calves and the rest of our legs, but it's perfect for your standard and for your smooth, right? And of course I can do this in turnout, so go ahead and meet me in turnout here. So we've got our toes turned to 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock, so we're going to bend again and straight up, bend and up. Alright, so you should feel some stuff working. You may even feel your core has started to engage in order to support you as you're trying to go through this position. If you're feeling really strong, you can even do it with just one foot. So bend and up, bend and up, right? So that's the challenge version for those of you who like a challenge. Okay, I want you to find one more intermediate position here. I know, it's so hard. You can do it, we're almost there. I want to teach you one more exercise here. So we're going to come from our parallel position. Go ahead and bend those knees one more time. Now we're just gonna lift the heels up. This is called a four starch position. And again, you're gonna start to feel that low core engage. And now I'm gonna straighten those knees all the way to my releve, awesome. And then I'm gonna just lower the heels on a straight leg. Let's do it again. Bend the knees, lift the heels, woo! Straighten the knees and lower, faster. Bend the knees, lift heels, Straighten and lower and knees. Heels, straighten and lower. Knees, heels, straighten and lower. Of course, if this is challenging for you, you can always grab the back of a chair, kitchen counter, whatever it is. You know, don't feel like you have to do it all by yourself, right? We always want to be building and getting better. So same thing, I can also do this in my turnout position. So I can come to my, my plie, right, bending through those knees. Lifting those heels in that four starch, straightening the knees, and then lowering the heels. Try it again. Plie, four starch, straighten and lower. Plie, 
for starch, straighten and lower. Guess what, you can also reverse it. Of course you can, right? So let's go straight up, so we're gonna go straight up. Bend those knees, lower the heels and straighten and up. Knees, heels and straighten and up. Knees, heels and straighten. And of course we can do that in parallel too. Up, up, knees, heels and up and up. Knees, lower the heels and straighten. That's one of my favorite exercises. I love to teach it to people because you know, it really, really starts to strengthen those feet and knees and ankles and build that stamina and mobility to help prevent us from getting injured. So last exercise, and definitely my favorite exercise, and I love to do this, you can do it anywhere. So let's just go ahead and stand on one leg. So just holding that balance on one leg, I recommend, this is my flamingo pose. So you can hold that leg however you want, it doesn't really matter. And I really recommend that you do this for about 30 seconds or a minute, staying on that one leg the entire time. And I try to create as much instability as I can through the rest of my body, doing crazy stuff maybe even. And maybe I fall off, but the whole idea is I'm building those small intrinsic muscles. Let's go ahead and switch feet. Again, I'm just doing all sorts of weird stuff. Your knee can be bent here or it can be straight. Or if, again, if you want an extra challenge, doing it on relevé, really hard. I also love to do this on a pillow, building even more instability underneath, really starting to build up through those feet. You'll feel that foot shaking and changing, and that's exactly what we want. So, you did it! Great job! I know it can be really hard nowadays just to even get off the couch, but you've done it. I'm so proud of you. Get back to dancing, get back to moving, enjoy your life. Looking forward to seeing you. Bye-bye!